Okay, now for this video, I'm actually going to show you how to add in pages to your Google websites. Instead of using the edit page button, this time we're going to go over one more and we're going to get, click on the new page button up on the top there. And it will present us with the screen that looks like this. Obviously, you're going to want to name your page. So if you name it, um, let's just, I don't know, call it this time uh, freehand drawing revision or revision freehand drawing might make more sense to the user straight up revision freehand drawing and it's very important this section here when you select a template I'd like you to actually go down to uh, either using le learning intentions template or if you want students to be able to add comments to that um, page I've also created one that students can add comments on most people I think are going to start off with learning intentions template click on that and then it gives you a location to put that page now it put page at top level is basically make it a main page or if you for example wanted to go under the heading of an outcome you can do that also and I would open up choose a different location and select the outcome so I'd say put it under outcome one and then click create once it's created there you can see it's gone and put it under the outcome one and it's listed there for you revision freehand drawing now I sort of use the naming conventions where I use a number because so students can follow it sequentially because what Google Sites will do for you with these pages here it will automatically arrange for you in alphabetical order so if you know you, you don't want Google Sites doing that a little turnaround I found is that if I uh, put a number before it it actually puts the in the numerical order for me rather than alphabetical so there you go it's presented and brought up a page for you with the success criteria as for per the previous uh, pages and you can go on and keep adding as many pages as you want for example under outcome one or outcome two and so on you can also add them in at top level and that's these dark blue ones that's where I gave you that option to add in it um, at what it was saying as top level and for example in this situation here it might come out to be outcome four and I would add outcome four as a top level uh, on that page so hit save once you're happy with that page and now you, you should find that it updates that for you in the menu also there you go there all sorted and you're ready to start adding as many pages as you want to your Google site